But Chief, how do I prove Larry's innocence? You hold the evidence right. It's in the court record. Find a contradiction and raise an objection. Got it. Wait, do what now? If your client's innocent, this testimony's fiction. So check your court record for the contradiction. It's time to take control. The story's clearly phony. Present something to poke a hole in the testimony. The witness is clearly lying to throw you off your case. So find a contradiction. Objection! So, what, I just yell out when I find a contradiction? No, of course not. Objecting isn't just about yelling. There's a lot more to it. Listen carefully, right? What you need to achieve is to grab the court's attention. In order to make them believe, you must create some tension. How dare the witness tell a lie while being on the stand? Look him in the eye and bang your desk. Loudly with your hand. Oh, I see. The witness is clearly lying to throw you off your case. So find a contradiction to rub in his smug face. And after you have made your careful selection, present evidence as your aid and yell. Objection! Okay, yelling and slamming the desk. I got it. Anything else I need to know? Actually, there is one more thing. Now this judge is rather old, his hearing's not so fine. He's slowly getting bald, and he needs some kind of sign. So go out on a limb, and get his mind to linger. Just focus, and then point to him with your index finger. I think I got it now. So you know what to do, right? Yeah. Just watch me, Chief. Okay, let's do it. The witness is clearly lying to throw you off my case. I'll find a contradiction to rub in his smug face. And after I have made my careful selection, I'll present evidence as my aid and yell, yell, yell. Objection!